Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to see, how to make 3D parallax slideshow animation, so let's have a look. To perform this tutorial you need only three things, 1. Your high resolution image, flare 1 and flare 2. Here I have already imported file, requires for this demonstration, so now let's start creating it. Create a new composition. Name it as media. Now we need to change the width and height for this composition. Change width to 4000 pixels. Change height to 2200 pixels. Frame rate to 30. And change the time duration to 5 seconds. Ok now here we need to add our image file. Let's add it to the composition. Scale your image if needed. Here I will scale my media file to fit the screen. Ok. Now let's create another composition. Name it as animation. Now here we will change the width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Change the time duration to 3 seconds. Now here we need to add our media composition to the timeline. Now scale the composition, as shown. Now change the media composition to 3D. Now press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate of media composition. Let's hide the first media composition. Now select the ellipse tool. Now draw mask over the media composition as shown. Press Ctrl plus Shift and draw the mask. Perfect. Now go to Mask 1. Now change the mask expansion value, decrease the value to near about minus 600. The values I am going to use in the demonstration are not 100% accurate. The values can change according to your mask, and also depend on your composition settings. Now in effects and preset search for drop shadow. Add it to the media composition. This will add shadow effects to our footage. Change opacity value to 20%. Change direction to 0 degree. Change distance value to 0. Change softness value to 500. Now let's create another duplicate of media composition. Now go to mask. Mask 1. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for mask expansion. Now increase the mask expansion value. Set it to near about minus 300. Now go to end of the timeline. Change the mask expansion value to 0. Now select the end keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now press R to bring up the rotation. Create a keyframe for Z rotation. Change the Z rotation value to 20 degree. Now go up 2 seconds. Change Z rotation value to 0. Now select the end keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now again create a duplicate of above media composition. Press U to view created keyframes. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now change mask expansion value, decrease it to near about minus 150. 
Now go to end keyframe. Change mask expansion value to near about 200. Now come back to start of the timeline. Change Z rotation value to 15 degree. Now create another duplicate of above media composition. Press U to view created keyframes. Now change mask expansion value, increase it to near about 50. Now go to end keyframe. Change mask expansion value to near about 300. Now come back to start of the timeline. Change Z rotation value to minus 5. Now create another duplicate of media composition. Press U to view created keyframes. Now change the mask expansion value to near about 300. Now go to end keyframe. Change mask expansion value to 1000. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now change Z rotation value to minus 10. Now if we see the preview, we can't see any previous compositions, just above composition layer is visible, so now let's make them visible. Select the fifth media composition. Press P to bring up the position. Now slightly change the position for Z axis, change the value to near about minus 100. You can see a glass effect is visible. Now do same for other media compositions. Change the position for Z axis. Perfect. You can see, all media composition are now visible. To make this effect look great, you need to adjust only two things. Mask expansion value and position of your media composition. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's make the end media file visible. Now you can see the preview. Let's add the flare one pre-rendered file to the timeline. Now for flare one, let's change the mode to add. Now add flare two pre-rendered file to the timeline. For flare two, Change mode to screen. We need to change flare media file to 3D. Change flare to media file to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Now create a new null object. Change the null object to 3D. Now for camera 1, parent it to the null object. Now for the null object, press P to bring up the position. Now create a keyframe for the position. Now change the position value for the X axis, as shown. Slightly adjust the position value for the Z axis. Now go at 2 seconds. Change the position value for X axis. Slightly adjust the position value for the Z axis. Now go at end of the timeline. Change the position value for the X axis. Slightly adjust the position value for the Z axis. Here the position value for your composition can be different. Now select all created keyframes. 
change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new composition. I will name it as final. Now add the animation composition to the timeline. Now press S to bring up the scales. Change scale value to 120. Change it to 3D. Now press P to bring up the position. Now create a keyframe for position. Now adjust the position for animation composition as shown. Now go at end of timeline. Change position of animation composition as shown. Now press R to bring up the rotation. Create a keyframe for X rotation. Change rotation value to minus 12 degree. Now go at end of the timeline. Change rotation value to 12 degree. Now come back to start of the timeline. Create a keyframe for Y rotation. Change rotation value to minus 16 degree. Now go at end of the timeline. Change rotation value to 16 degree. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now create a new adjustment layer. Select the ellipse tool. Draw mask as shown. For mask 1 change mode to subtract. Change feather value to 315. Change mask expansion value to 6. Now in effects and preset search for CC glasses. Add it to adjustment layer. Now change the left view to adjustment layer 1. Right view to adjustment layer 1. Now change scene convergence value to 15. For 3D view change it to balanced colored red blue. Now create another adjustment layer. In effects and presets search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer. Make sure you are at the start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for field of view. Change field of view value to 90. Select reverse lens distortion. Now go at 15 frames. Change field of view value to 0. Press U to view created keyframes. Select end keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now search for transform. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now change scale value to 105. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Similarly, you can create more 3D parallax slide animation composition and make your slideshow. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.